On the 16th of August, 1819, local government troops charged into a crowd of 60,000 men, women and children who had gathered at St Peter's Field in Manchester to demand the reform of Parliament. 18 people were killed and more than 700 were injured. The massacre was dubbed Peterloo in reference to the bloody scenes at the Battle of Waterloo which had happened just four years earlier. In this video we ask what brought 60,000 people to St Peter's Field? Wherever you lived in a town or country, conditions were hard for the working people. Population growth meant there was an increase in competition for work, which forced down wages. At the same time, the introduction of new machines made it possible for farms, factories and mines to produce more with fewer and less skilled workers. And even a few managed to get a job in the new factories, you could expect to work uh, long hours uh, for uh, low pay and terrible conditions. The end of the Napoleonic Wars led to a severe economic slump in part brought about by a sharp cut in government spending on products like weapons and uniforms. Then there were over 200,000 demobilised soldiers and sailors flooding the labour market. Meanwhile in the countryside, a sudden fall in price of corn bankrupted many small farms and the larger farms to lay off labourers. Rather than attempt to alleviate these problems, the government made the situation worse with a string of unpopular laws. In 1799, 1800, combination laws made trade unions illegal. Then the 1815 Corn Laws artificially inflated the price of bread, which was good for the farmers, but disastrous for the poor. By 1816, the wartime income tax was abolished. This was good for the middle and upper classes, but then the government started taxing tobacco, tea and beer, and the poor were again the losers. And if you poached a rabbit in desperation, the game law of 1816 meant you could be transported to Australia. Today, if we are unhappy with the government, we can vote them out at the next general election. But in 1819, only about 3% of the population had the vote. To be able to vote in 1819, you had to be male on land worth two pound a year or more. That's 114 pound in today's money. At the same time, constituencies represented by Parliament had not changed with the times, meaning new towns like Manchester and Birmingham didn't have any MPs. In contrast, Old Sarum, which had been important in the past but was now in ruins, could send two MPs to Parliament. It was the unfairness of the system which led to radical groups demanding reform spring up across the country, including Manchester. In 1817, a group known as the Blanketeers attempted to march from Manchester to London to demand parliamentary reform, but was stopped by the authorities. In January 1819, 10,000 people gathered at St. Peter's Bill to listen to the radical speaker Henry Hunt, who was calling on the government to repeal the unpopular Corn Laws. By July, the town's magistrates had written to Lord Sidmouth, the Home Secretary, to express their concerns at the rising discontent among the labourers. When Henry Hunt returned to speak at St Peter's Field on the 16th of August, cavalry were on hand in case the meeting turned violent. As the crowds grew and the speeches began, the magistrates lost their nerve and sent the cavalry in to round up the leaders. The Peterloo Massacre sparked protests across the country, but the government stood with the magistrates. Fearing that Britain was on the brink of a revolution, as had been seen in France, the government chose instead to clamp down on those who were calling for reform. It would be another 13 years before Parliament would begin to reform itself. 